Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new here, you are welcome. Guys, I started your reading and then I stopped because this says it's number 52, hidden knowledge, and it's your Akashic Records and then a silent understanding. So I know when you go into the Akashic Records, you're really digging deep, right? But I wanted to know the meaning of it with the book. And I spent six minutes looking for the book. So, and I, I said, oh, I said, they're going to get this message, right? So, <laughs> hidden knowledge, Akashic Records, a silent understanding, guys. So, it says here, if you sit in silence, a deeper understanding will reveal itself. You will see what people are hiding from you, from others, and even from themselves. You will also be able to hear and comprehend their secrets. In fact, you may find that people share with you their hidden truths and troubles. For this reason, this card could also indicate a new career direction. Due to your deeper understanding and the willingness of others to open up to you, a profession like psychology, social work, or life coaching may be idea. The links is also associated with revelation, mysticism, and wisdom from the unseen world. This means that you have unlimited access to the Akashic Records, the universal source of all information, including every detail of every life that each soul entity has ever lived. In addition to seeing your past lives and future potentials, you have the ability to understand the influence of your present, where all your thoughts, words, and actions become the causes of future effects. You are now able to bring a higher consciousness to your daily life and to receive all the diverse wisdom and inspiration that the Akashic Records offer. So spend some time in silent reflection, relax, and receive the information that is hidden from others. Trust your intuitive understanding, for the power of the links brings clarity and profound connections to the secret energy all around you. They left you with an affirmation, Collective. I am blessed with intuitive wisdom. I receive helpful insight from the Akashic Records whenever I may need it. So guys, I'm going to tell you right now, there's a secret going on. But Spirit is telling you to be quiet. Shut down. Whenever you are around said person, whoever that person is, whoever you think is hiding these secrets from you guys. Just be quiet because spirits say you can hear their thoughts, right? They will reveal the secrets to you themselves. Guys, I am, um, because they said tap into the Akashic Records, I went and I grabbed the Akashic Records for you. All right, guys, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's go in, guys. And then we're going to dig a little deeper. And we're going to see where these secrets are and what's hidden. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I'm getting chills, guys. It's about to be a good one. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the collective. Akashic Record Spirit, what do they need to see? Pay attention to. They want you to be quiet. What will be revealed, Spirit, in the Akashic Records for the collective? Ooh. We're going to take two. What will be revealed, Spirit, for the collective? Okay. I'm going to sit that there. So we have the Buddha prepares or the Buddha prepares. And then we have faded meeting. So we have 13 in reverse and then we have the seven up right. So we're going to go to 13 in reverse. And these are the Akashic records. The Buddha prepares in reverse. I have to get over here because I can't see. Um... The Buddha leaves the state of preparation behind him, easily and happily moving into the crowd. This reversal indicates that a period of waiting and planning has come to an end. The time for action is now. If you feel hesitant and slow to move, don't hold yourself back. Indeed, because of your inner work and preparation, you may find yourself able to influence others without knowing how it happens. So move with certainty and courage. It's it's no longer it's no longer time to wait. The world is ready and you're ready now too. So your Akashic force here is 
close your eyes and reach to the Buddha within. Feel the peace and easy understanding that there is a time to every purpose under heaven. Feel your own sense of purpose stirring softly within you. Soon you will be ready to serve. Woo, baby, 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 baby. And then we have Faded Meeting, which is the number seven. And it's in the upright. Faded Meeting. A clock tower stands with his hands pointing to just a few minutes before 12. A man and a woman approach each other, coming to meet at a time that was predetermined by the higher selves, who were shown above them, trans, translucent and shining, right? So then it says, with this card, you are coming to a very important relationship in your life. Either it is entirely new or an existing relationship is being lifted to a much higher experience. Karma from past lives may have brought you together, so it's important for both of you to stay alert. Keep your individual and collective growth a priority and act with difference. Deference of, of compassion to yourselves and each other. If you both honor your karmic course, this could be one of the highest relationships you can know. This card can also show a faded meeting with another about a work situation, a creative project, or an important purpose that you hold. This too is likely karmic. Perhaps it's a past life publisher, a spiritual teacher, a brother, or a sister. Whatever this is, it's a powerful and promising relationship. So get ready. It's almost time. So guys, Spirit want you to go with them, but some things about to shake up in your life. It's a faded meeting. It's something that is meant to happen. Spirit also wants you to get quiet because you have hidden knowledge in you guys. Hidden knowledge that you can actually hear people think and actually make people um, listen to you. Like follow you. Alright guys, tap into your spiritual gifts. That's what Spirit is saying right there. And you also have a faded meeting coming, either in business or in love. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do we have for the collective? Right? What do we have? What do we have? Anything can come out of here, guys. This is the Holy Girl. Holy Grail. It's going to be the Holy Grail. One, two, three, and four. Holy Spirit, what do we have for the collective? Right? All right, spiritual jail. Somebody tried to bind you, guys. Somebody tried to keep you where you don't want to be kept, right? Like, say you want to leave a relationship, and for whatever reason, every time you try to leave, you have money problems. Every time you try to leave, you have, you know, this and that. Choosing me and letting go. So, because you're choosing you, somebody tried to bind you. Somebody tried to bind your energy to them. To make you not want to leave, collector, right? Denial about this relationship. So whoever this person is, guys, they're in denial about this relationship. Spirit said if you get quiet, you can hear their thoughts, right? I didn't know how to take you seriously. So this person, you could have already had this faded meeting. And when they met you, they didn't know how to take you seriously, collector, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else we got here? This person, collective. Okay, that's lit out too. They can feed off of your energy. This is a body collector. Um, they keep relationships. Things are never really over with you or other people. They just they just keep people in rotation, right? Holy Spirit. This person here could want fame and money, right? They could want fame and money collective. Let's see. They said they can feel your energy. Yeah, I told you. I can feel your energy. I feed off your energy. That's crazy. All right, this fell out. Oh, here we go again. Spiritual jail. This person's in trouble. They try to do magic on you collective. They had a rough childhood, this person here. And everyone will not be happy for you, collective. So you're doing something up here. You're going to do something business-wise or whatever. Could be getting a promotion or whatever. 
but you're becoming more spiritual. Uh, somebody's trying to pick and pull on your energy collective as well. Um, they're trying to bind you because it looks like you're moving on in your life, right? You're doing good things. And whoever this person is, they don't want you to move on, right? All right, guys. We're going to do some Karmic Tales 3. Because this person, whoever they are, they're in the dial about this relationship. But they want to keep you, this person, and this person. But the fact that they try to do magic to bind you, they're in spiritual jail. The card said it twice. It said spiritual jail trying to bind you in that spiritual jail. Mm -hmm. And spirit said dig a little deeper into your Akashic records, guys. Tap more into your spiritual energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Full collective. Who's here? Divine Feminine. So it's all about you, Divine Feminine. They definitely talking about you. This Divine Feminine, you may be an Aries, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on? Okay, there could be a Scorpio here. Oh, that's a lot. STD fell out, but we'll see if it comes back out. So there could be Aries or Scorpio or fire sign, water signs, right? Holy Spirit. And here we go again. So this water sign here, Scorpio, they had childhood trauma. But also down here, it also said they had a rough childhood, right? Holy Spirit. They could also be depressed, guys, have anxiety at this time. Um, this person should have, could have dealt with um, some abuse. Like they, they tolerated abuse. Whoever the Scorpio is. Or maybe they um, received abuse by the hands of a Scorpio. But this was an intoxic and injustice relationship. This person is in their lower self right now, right? They're just in their lower self. And they have a lack of emotional intelligence. Oh, spirit. They fell in love with somebody's potential. One more spirit. Oh, and they fell in love. Oh, you know what, guys? I did a reading earlier, and they said they fell in love with the person's potential, and it was a Leo. And the Aries came out earlier, too. And childhood trauma. I believe I did that reading today. I believe I did. All right, guys, let's put some tarot on this, right? Guys, just tap in. This person feeds off your energy. Holy Spirit, put a collective. And they're living in their lower self. They could be depressed, guys. They could have dealt with a lot of childhood trauma. And that stuff follows you. Even as an adult, it could follow you. Could be a lover's in reverse. Somebody you used to be with. You probably already walked away. Yeah, there's a lover. Maybe you found out that this person had a lover with the lover's in reverse. Either that or you stop loving them and they just don't know what to do. This is the emperor. You probably found out that they had someone, maybe. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, or you will. Yeah, it's the lovers in reverse. This person is ending a ten of cups. They're not happy where they are. There's no love where they are. So now they're setting out on a new path. They don't know which way to go, but they do know that they're carrying too many burdens. It's like you're just carrying or bringing a lot of burdens with them. Still trying to protect their energies from whatever it is they signed up for, right? What else, Spirit? This person is a hangman over this ending. It could be just a hierophant in reverse. They don't want what this person is offering them. I guess when it came to this Leo here, the one that uh, fell in love with whose potential, I guess they woke up and was like, what the hell did I do, right? Yeah, this person feels left out in the cold. Because they're being blocked by a queen of swords. Or they're just not speaking up for themselves. They see you as the ace of pentacles, so you hear from spirit. But it's like they can't get to you. They can't come and work with you. Because uh, 
they're in a union or something, right? They're ending the four of wands, but they still can't come to you. There's no, you're the empress here. Or they could be in a, a four of wands that they don't want to be in. They want to offer you this two of cups. They do. They want to offer the love to you. These cards keep creeping. King of Pentacles in reverse. The star in reverse. They're very, they're not hopeful. They don't think you're going to take it. This person could have been married. Anything final spirit. They don't think you're going to take them back, but they're coming in anyway. They're coming in as a page with a new offering. This person could be immature, shy, something like that. But they're coming in. They've been in hermit. They're still in hermit. So in their mind, in their thought process, they say they're coming to see you. They're coming in, right? Here they are. They put an ending to something, guys. Because they love you. So they've been holding back. They've been holding back, but they've been watching you. I got my eyes on you. Anything final spirit for the collective. This person is not happy where they are. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I told you they could be married. But they made their decision. They're finally speaking up for themselves. Yep, they want balance in their life. And they feel that their balance is with this Queen of Wands here. So, they say, come on. They're having a conversation. Here's the tower. And like, look, I want a divorce. I want this. I want that. I want my ring back. Whatever. It's the Knight of Cups in reverse. So, whatever promises they made, they are reneging on all promises. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, right? They are reneging on all promises. They don't feel very strong, though, because there's a lot of people trying to stop this person. But they heal from what they've been through and they want what they want. They said, I want what I want, what I want. And it's a queen of cups. <laughs> they said, I want what I want, what I want, what I want, what I want. And yep. That's what they say. Their secret is out. And the secret is I'm moving the fuck on. Right? They said, judge me all you want. <laughs> judge me because of this ending. I don't care. <laughs> There's no new beginnings here. They said, I'm going back to my baby. They said, judge me all you want. They go to a new beginning, guys. There it is. Mm, mm, mm. All right, collective. This is your read. Spirit said tap in. Tap into your Akashic Records, guys. And if you're unsure about it, go buy that deck of cards. And every day you'll learn a little bit more and you'll dig a little bit deeper. I'll show you the book again. I got mine at Amazon. It's probably like, I think this deck was kind of expensive. It's probably like $30. Help. Tarot deck gone cheap. Shit. Thanks, Beth. All right, guys. This is your reading. Now, go back to the reading I did earlier because it included an Aries and a Leo again. And I'm saying it because this came out with the same thing. Fell in love with potential and then tolerate and abuse. Same thing. All of it's kind of the same. And the Divine Feminine was the Aries again. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, you know what? That was on the Pisces channel. Well, you're going to go to the Pisces channel to get that reading. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. But it's there, so go on over there and get it. Bye.